everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStampIt.blogspot.com and today we're going to be using the bags, tags, boxes, and more Cricut cartridge. We're going to be doing the this hole with the um, punches rather than the dashes in here. So what you would do is do hole option and then you're going to push the purse and the hole option kind of acts as a shift which will give you like here's the bottom one here and it'll give you the top one which is basically the shift. So those are the holes. We're going to do fit to page because I want to make this as big as, as I can, this purse. And I think, just going off of what I've done before, I think it was 7 inches, but I'm not 100%. But once I hit cut, it'll calculate and tell us. And just to let you know, I'm using this out of the die cuts with the view whimsy stack. So let's go ahead, press cut. It's going to calculate. Yep, it is 7 inches. So it'll cut 7 inches. When we come back, we'll assemble this. One really quick tip that I wanted to show you guys. I have this loaded here. Here's the arrow. And I have this loaded so that when this will fold, this pretty portion here will be the actual part that's the closure. So you'll see what I mean. I just wanted to point that out so you guys see how to lay your paper on here if you have a couple designs. In order, this is plain and this one's got the design. So I just wanted to point that out. And if you have three-tone paper, it works just as well too with this purse. So when we come back, we'll put it together. Okay guys, so let's start assembling this. So really quick, I'll show you this will be the part that folds down in the portion. So I'm just lining up these two dashes and I'm using my bone folder as best I can here to try to get some nice clean edges onto this. And I'm just, let's see, this one's right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. So it goes like that. And you can kind of tell on this, this one's actually pretty easy to figure out how to fold because it needs to lay flat with this. And then these little tabs just come up to where this mark is. And this also folds together really nicely too. When you get it all done, it folds really quickly and nicely. So you just follow the tabs along here, each one, and just crease it as you go. I spilt a little something on this, but I still think if I if it doesn't work out quite well, I'm always I can put something on it. So either I'll put a flower or something to cover it. And then I got one more crease here to do this. These holes are where it's going to be. You could put ribbon, but I have a really, really cute idea that I'm going to share with you guys with that that I thought of, so they're kind of going to get two gifts in one. So I'm just folding these creases here, and hopefully you guys are catching this. Okay, so what I do is I keep this little tab inside. So I keep this tab inside, and then I close this one, and then close that one onto that. I put double stick tape along here, seal it, and then I press it, and I stick my fingers inside, press it like that, and then I go in with just normal tape, not double stick tape, just regular scotch tape, and then I put it inside here along this line to keep it even more sturdy. So um, that's my recommendation on that, to put it together nicely, and then this will fold on top here. And see what I mean by having the design come out on top like that? It's going to be so cute. I don't think I, I need to crease it one more time. So I need to crease it one more time and the handle will be out of here. So when we come back together, I'll show you how we're going to do the handle. Okay, guys. So here's our next stage that we're going to do. And here's an idea that I came up with that I thought would be great. Um, I have all these extra beads here that came in with this kit that I got from my London haul and wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them because I used to be into bead making, but I'm not any longer. So I thought, how cool it would it be to make a beaded handle for this? Then I went a step further thinking, well, you know what? If I'm going to bead it, why don't I bead it and at the end make a clasp and actually make this into a bracelet? So this portion would be right here and it'd be closed and the handle is actually going to be the bracelet portion. I think it's going to be so cute. So let me just show you some basics on doing this. It's simple, simple. It's really easy to do. So this is just some five um, diameter stretch. And I'll show you how this works here. What you do is you measure around your own wrist at, and actually, oh good, you guys can't see this. And I go a little bit more than where I'm supposed to go just because um, you need extra room to you can always trim it off too, and I'll show you how you do that. So, the first starting point that you're going to do is either start on either side of these, and let me get in here. 
the best tip that I can tell you to, so you just tie this into a knot, like so, and then you're going to tie a knot again just to really make sure you have a good starting point with this. And then, let's see if I can get it into another knot here. There we go. And then what I do is trim off this excess on this side here. Trim off this. And then I take a little bit of um, clear nail polish and put it on there just to finish it off and make sure that it's going to stay really well. So that's just a little tip that I have. So now we've got our starting point, And what we do is beat up all the way until, and then I keep measuring around my arm just to figure out exactly where we're going to go with this. And we're going to beat it up and then meet back up here and then have some excess on here and tie it just the same way you tied this. But before we do that, I'm going to show you this real quick. I also took the hole here and tried to put this through and I figured it wasn't going to be big enough and it isn't. So I have this hole punch that I just purchased today from Office Depot. It was only 99 cents and I'm just going to slightly enlarge one side of it. So there's that and now I'm just going to try to put this in here and make sure that it works. That's still a little too tight so I'm going to try it again. Oops. Let's try it again a little bit bigger. I just don't want to make it really, really big, but there we go. Perfect. So there's that. Now what we're going to do is just take these beads here. I have three different kind of beads that came in this package. So here's these three beads, and I'm just going to probably just alternate them all between the three of them. Um, just alter, or I might just go between these two, but anyway. So you just put the bead through here, and this is going to take a while, so rather than show you guys this taking forever, I'll just do this, and when we come back, this part will be done. Okay, so here's what I did. I added some of these really pretty things that I got from um, my London haul, and they're plasticky, and then I added these little um, sequins that came in this container also, and put that added that there so I could tie in this green. I did buy these pink beads, which is what I thought I was going to use to make this bracelet, but it was more or less a hot pink and it didn't go with this. So anyway, I went with a more lighter color. So anyway, when the person opens their little um, purse that they get here, they are going to find the goodies inside as well as this is a bracelet. So um, I love that they, the person will end up getting two gifts with this and how quick and easy to make this and super, super cheap. So if you guys are also looking for ideas for bazaars for this Christmas, just a cute, cute idea. I can see this in someone's stocking stuffer and they get a bracelet and the goodies inside. And I just think it's super cute. One last thing. Actually, there's two things. First thing I'll mention here is you guys know how much trouble I was having with this tape you've seen in my other videos. Unfortunately, I cannot recommend this product because it just wouldn't work and it gave me such a hard time. So I went to Office Depot because they had these on sale, and I'll tell you what, this is the best. I love it. It's This one is $4.50 or $4.29, and then the refills right now are $1.50. And it's as simple as you pull these two in here, this thing will pop out, and then you replace one on top of it, and it just snaps right in place. And this one, it just rolls really easily, stops when you want it to stop. And this flips over to protect it from getting dirty. Love this and highly recommend it. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Now, to close this, this is what I would recommend. I have these Velcro closures. And a little trick in doing this is, let me show you this. So you take one of these sides of it, like so. And then you take this other one here. This is the other adhesive side. And you put it actually on top of each other. Then you're going to center where you would want this to close at. So I'm kind of going to eyeball this, closing it here. You're going to close it like that. So now it's set. Well, not set quite yet. And you're going to lift it up, hold it in place, and then press. And then you're going to press this. So now it's all set perfectly, and you don't have to guess which way you're going to put that down. So anyway, there you guys go, and I hope you enjoyed this um, little tutorial. I had really fun making it, and I'm just excited to make these for Christmas because I think these are going to be a huge hit. All right, you guys, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.